Just like every journey, everything has a beginning, such as life. Life starts with a single cell. It may remain as it is, but that is the case for unicellular organisms. But for us multicellular organisms, we are made up of countless different cells, each having their own function. We are not going to go further in detail within this area, but instead, we focus on how they multiply. Now, how exactly do cells multiply? You see, they don't always do that. Cell division all only happens to compensate for the cells that are damaged or when gametes multiply. Mitosis is the cell division taking place in the entire body except for the reproductive system. This only has one phase. But meiosis is a different story. It takes a place in the reproductive system of both respective genders and goes through two phases. The difference between the two is very important to remember. Mitosis divides body cells and the daughter cells is always identical as their parent cell. This happens whenever a person is growing, when hair and nails grow out, or when a person is wounded or injured. The rate of growth depends per respective cell. This type of cell division mainly has five pieces. The interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, or in short, if not, the whole process is mainly on the interface since cells need a lot of preparation before actually dividing. The interface is the preparation piece when cells gather up the proteins they need for cell division. The prophase is the phase when chromatids line up in the middle, where the cells separate. This is also where spidal fiber form. The metaphase is where centromers line up in the middle of the cell resulting to a cleavage furrow. The next part is getting close to the climax of the process. The anaphase is preparing the spidal fiber for separation. Finally, the cells separate during telophase resulting now to daughter cell. And the whole process of mitosis ends there. But what about meiosis, you asked? Why does it have two phases? Let me explain. In the first phase, only division occurs. But at the second one, not only that it includes division, but also the crossing over of chromosomes. Just like it is mentioned earlier, mitosis results with two identical cells. But with this one, it results with a variety of genes per gametes. This is the main reason why siblings from the same parents still look somewhat different. Now that we tackle the two ways of how cells divide, we answer the question, what if cells do continuously divide non-stop? Well, it is a thing known to most called cancer. Keep in mind that this may be genetic or caused by external factors such as too much ever exposed toxins and more cancer starts with a single cells that has a malfunction and inability to stop dividing this can affect the healthy cells surrounding it can also move to other areas since it is out of control cancer usually proliferates in hair cells which is why cancer patients lost their hair in the process it is important to get this diagnosed quite early. Simply avoiding the causes above will help you be aware of it more. This is why cancer is still currently a topic of research within the medical field. Remember that prevention is better than cure.